and Lewis in his video plans. For today's instruction video, I'm going to be showing you how to build an analog video switch. Now, you may say, what is this for? Why am I need it? Well, imagine you have uh, an FPV setup with two cameras, maybe on your FPV plane or on your quadcopter. And you want to have the ability to uh, hit channel 6 on your transmitter and be able to uh, switch the video signals between those two cameras seamlessly. Now, why may I need this if I can just use one camera with a pan and tilt and kind of mic? Well, imagine you have one camera that has a wide angle lens on it and a second camera that has a narrow field of view lens on it. Now, these two lenses give you a very different perspective of the world around you, especially when you're at 50, 100, or 400 feet in the air. Now, before I continue with today's video, I want to say that I know I have not been posting videos for the past uh, two or three years, but in that meantime, I still have been working on video planes and on um, flying and uh, developing many ideas that I had. I did not let video planes die. So, I am going to continue making videos and I'm glad to share all these ideas that I have with you guys within the next few weeks and months to come. Now without any further ado, let's get to today's instruction video. Before I get started, I'm going to briefly explain what inspired me to come up with this idea. Around uh, mid-August of 2016, I lost something and uh, I really needed to find it. And the only way to look for it was... Uh, from from above, like trying something and looking downwards. So I went with the FPV route and um, I needed to look downwards but at the same time look forwards. So I had two cameras and I had uh, to come up with a way to connect those cameras and be able to switch the video signal from my control. All right, so I'm gonna draw a, a somewhat of a schematic so you guys can see visually how this works and uh, then we'll get to it. So it's uh, pretty simple. So we have our camera one here and then a video transmitter here. So um, I'm going to draw the positive, it, they, they both have a common positive and negative that go to the video transmitter. So I'm just going to draw that on this side. And uh, here's where it gets uh, interesting. So the way this works is... Um, we're going to have the video signal coming out and uh, the wire is going to be attached to a servo, right? And then um, we're going to have a little board over here and we're going to solder on the video signal from one of the cameras to one side and then the video signal of the second camera to the other side and they're gonna have a copper plate on top of them and then the servo is gonna switch between these two contacts and that's what uh, will ultimately uh, choose which video signal is going to a video transmitter all right, so I took off the setup from um, the airplane and had it on so you guys could see it more visually. So I have one camera here pointing towards the TV and I have another camera pointing towards the airplane. So I'm going to hit uh, channel 6 on my, air, on my uh, transmitter and the servo should move and change the video signal. One more thing is that as I was taking the setup off my airplane, I um I accidentally stripped one of the wires from the camera, 
So I had to open up this little black notch that the camera has carefully to resolder the wires inside. So I was asked in the, the previous video I made, um, I'll put a link down in the description of uh, how to turn this camera into an FPV cam. If this was important and why we had to keep it in order for the camera to work. So I had never opened it before and I, I did this time. So that's what's inside that little black notch. It looks like it's uh, it has a transistor and like three capacitors in it. It looks like it's a, a power converter. I don't know if it steps or it steps the voltage up or down or it does something with it. But it's it's somewhat important. Like if you if you cut that off, your video your camera won't work. Alright, so this is pretty much it for today's uh, instruction video. Now my goal is to keep on making three videos a week like I used to do before, which was a Wednesday instruction video, the Friday motor video, and the Sunday flying video. Now the Friday videos are going to change a little bit. Uh, I'm going to continue making sometimes the motor videos, but I run out of motors, so instead I'm going to replace it with uh, another video. And I'll talk more about that on Friday's video. Now if you want to see this Sunday's flying video which includes this airplane with the setup that we just uh, we just did over here that I showed you guys and everything else, all you have to do is click that button up there and subscribe. And be sure to give a like up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.